was greeted with the cheers of his loyal supporters. It's a send off, you know, congratulations. It's a celebration. It's a welcome home. He stood up for us and now we want to show him how much we love him and that we support him. Among the crowd that day, Richard Snoop. It was a bit sad. I think most Trump supporters will admit that uh, well, I agree with a lot of these takes. Latin American politics are very complex. I'm Bolivian, and I know that you thought it was a horrible coup that ousted Evo, but he sucked big time. I mean, I've admitted that there are there are indigenous tribesmen even that uh, are are super critical of Evo. Look, it was a coup, by the way. You're ridiculous. I don't care if you're from literally Bolivia. I don't care if your fucking Evo Morales is like personal uh, uh, assistant or some shit. Okay, it was literally a fucking coup. Are you crazy? That's one. Number two. Here is my personal experience with this. I'm not Bolivian. I'm not fucking Venezuelan. I'm Turkish. In my personal point of view, and this is probably what a lot of Turks also would agree with me on. I, I hate Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Recep Tayyip Erdogan is horrible, okay? He has worked alongside American interests for a very long time, no longer does as much. So what does America do? Try to facilitate a coup d'etat in Turkey and place a puppet leadership in the form of Fethullah Gülen. Like Yunan and Recep Tayyip Erdogan literally grew up together. Like they are, or not grew up, but they, they were part of the same political far right uh, and, and uh, like zealot cult, basically. Okay? Would I prefer the American puppet, Fethullah Gülen, to be in a leadership position rather than Erdogan? Fuck no. And most Turks agree with me on this. Okay? So that is the point of view that I apply to other countries where America has an interest in, okay? I would rather have the authoritarian dictatorship of Recep Tayyip Erdogan rather than the authoritarian dictatorship of Fethullah Gülen. Just like I know for a fact that Venezuela will be better off in the long term under an authoritarian dictatorship of Maduro rather than an authoritarian dictatorship that uh, is, is placed in a position of power by the United States operating at the behest of United States corporate interests. Okay? Do you understand? You just countered his I'm from Bolivia argument with I'm from Turkey. I'm explaining to him why I believe, regardless of what their fucking personal opinion is on the country that they're from, I believe that these countries are better off with their current order of business, no matter how authoritarian it fucking is, because American involvement in their affairs is only at the behest of those who would rather exploit their natural resources in far worse ways. And there is so much you have horrible foreign policy takes. Yeah, I know. I do. Maduro is not an authoritarian dictator. Man, okay, shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. Shut up. It, it's so fucking stupid when people say Maduro's not fucking a dictator. No, the correct POV on that, the correct way to talk about that, and some hankies or some Marxist lenders are honest about it at the very least, will say, no, they have to be authoritarian in an effort to combat uh, U.S. hegemonic power. Upgraded from Bezos Bucks. The answer isn't fucking literally just to say, oh, this is wrong. He's not an authoritarian. Of course he is. Shut the fuck up. Come on, dude. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> If you but American puppet leaders, if you put American puppet leaders in charge of foreign governments, it is it only serves further to American interests, not whatever the country they try to coup. Yes. Genocidal dictator because you know America. Correct POV for 193 countries watches or reads zero sourceable factual stories. Yes, you're right. I should instead spend my time jerking off the foreign policy magazine articles written by literally fucking defense contractors and those who are currently actively serving in the CIA. 
That's what I should be doing instead. That's how I will grow my fucking brain power to, to unimaginable levels. Good Sorry, day, sweaty. The only way to help the global poor is by fucking killing the bad guys, okay? And putting the good guys who are going to help Exxon uh, extract all the natural resources and uh, set the prices for oil and uh, reappropriate the, the, the wealth accrued by those natural resources being extracted to their own needs rather than needs of the fucking Venezuelan people. I'm not even saying that Maduro is doing that currently, by the way. And no, you're wrong. I literally do fucking read, you dumb fuck. There are so many examples of what America has done to uh, countries worldwide. And yet, for some weird reason, people are like, oh no, we would much rather have America come. Like, look at Afghanistan and Iraq, okay? That's all you need to know about what happens when America personally involves themselves in your politics. Okay. We only save the world from speaking German twice. So yeah, no, that, that way it's actually justifiable to do genocide in South Vietnam and Cambodia actually, because you know, world war two happened also two times. Really? The first one, not even existent. Okay. That's one. And number two, uh, good luck fucking saving the world from speaking German without Russian fucking firepower, without Stalin. I rewatched The Dictator yesterday and you literally just described the plot. Anyway. America is just like, America is like the fucking uh, delusional high school quarterback who, who made state and is now like this violent fucking cop who beats his wife, but because he was the high school quarterback and the fucking prom king, like, it's okay. Everything he's doing is still justifiable. All the violent outbursts are still justifiable, dude. Come on, bro. World War II. The reason why you don't talk about the last fucking 50 years of bloodshed in the hands of American imperialists okay, is literally because that's the last time America did something San justifiable, Francisco. dumbass. Can answer any questions you may have. We are currently talking about America's regime change involvements in contemporary society, not back in fucking World War II. World War II Kappa. Why do you call people stupid for getting something wrong? Because people aren't just wrong. If someone is just wrong and they say, Wait, I, I'm confused. Didn't like uh, America fight against the Nazis? I'm not going to fucking react to like that in the same way. That guy didn't just say that. He said, uh, we only saved the world from speaking German twice, sweaty. So it's acceptable that we contribute to the bloodshed now personally. And that's fucking psychotic. That's not just someone being dumb. That's an ignorant person who is incredibly confident in their ignorance. Okay. Anyway, America has been in bases in 70 countries, but no other country has a base in America. Yeah, I mean, our, our military operations is no different than how the mafia runs a protection racket. It is basically that. Anyway, I'm going uh, to run an ad now. It's top of the hour every hour, and then we're going to go back to uh, Trump supporters and Biden's America. Hogwatch is back on the market after this ad, okay? 60 second ad break. If you no longer want to see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for free with a Twitch Prime. Here's the ad. Okay. Uh, socialist ad, by the way. Yeah. 
Socialism is when no contractual obligation, and the less contractual obligation, the less socialist. Imagine saying Hassan Hussein or Osama bin Laden. Hassan Hussein or Osama bin Laden were the good guys? Is that what I said? Have I ever said that? I've never said those things. Also, it's Saddam Hussein, not Hassan Hussein, you fucking idiot. My man said Hassan Hussein. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Kind of sounds a little racist. I mean, dude, double S, baby. It never fails.